morning. It's a nice one. Here we're going with the earth battery. And just this configuration. Okay, it's one five one. That's amps DC. 1.3 DC and that will climb if we leave it but I'm not going to spend all that time. Another copper tube into the circuit and now here we are. Amperage is up to 2.02. Mr. Postman added a rather larger bit of copper this time. Shape of a bubble or something there. And we have the 2.44 amps DC running with the cylinder still. 1.3 volts AC cylinder still. And now DC at 0.95 volts. Slightly acid soil with pH of 6 there. Okay, on the tree. I changed the wire from the copper to galvanised. Thinking it might make some difference. In the end, it makes so little difference, it's not even going to bother to fail on the earth battery. And I'm going to hook it up to the hedge. First of all, we'll see what's running. This is just a four to five feet apart now, look. And that's giving us 0.91 volts to DC. DC amps, one, two, three. And we get a drop in this experiment, having connected it to the galvanised fence in the next edge. Okay. We're on pH neutral around this pear tree, and we now have two poles, two copper. So. Uh, DC amperage is 1.82 and it's been stable like that for quite a good time. Five or six minutes later, 0 0.093 volts DC, 1.3 volts AC, 1.94 DC amps. Come down to three so it's going to drop on down a little way yet. One cup of warm salty water. For the here again, she sat down 1.74 amps DC. I'm now going to add salt water to the probe. Salt water has now been added to the copper. And you can see what's happened. Okay, the amps are stabilised. Get the angle. There you go. That seems to be the answer to the other salt. Increased amperage for sure. 